Hello class, welcome to the first video in MATR 1313, otherwise known as Programming for Meteorology. And in this first video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Anaconda Navigator, how to get to it on your computer, and how to get the best use out of it. So this video assumes that you've already downloaded and installed the Anaconda package, which is uh, takes uh, about 5 million years to do because uh, it's not because it's a complicated process, it's just the fact that the uh, download takes a very long time because Anaconda is such a massive program and it also has to do with the fact, it just has to do with the fact that Anaconda itself is a really massive program. It takes a while to download it, especially if your internet connection isn't particularly good and it also takes a while to install just because it's so massive. But uh, once you get past that, the installation process should be relatively straightforward. Uh, there will be a couple of videos that sort of walk through the process on how to do the installation process both on Mac and Windows machines. Those links will be in the description below. And uh, this uh, video assumes that you've already successfully installed it. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is to search for the Anaconda Navigator. So if you're on a Mac, you should be able to just search for Anaconda uh, like you would any other file. And then on Windows, you want to search for Anaconda Navigator. And then once you find that program, you can just simply open it. So in this case, we'll just simply open Navigator. And one thing that I'd recommend is if you're on a Mac, again, it's going to take a little while to open, especially if you do it for the first time. One thing that I would recommend doing if you're using a Mac is to right click on Anaconda when it appears on the bottom here, then go to the option submenu and make sure this option keep in dock is selected. That way you can access it a lot more easily when you're going to, when you want to go work with it, say after you're done working on something in another class, then it makes it a lot easier to uh, open it than it does, than if it's not in the, in the little dock thing down here as it's called. And when you open this, you'll see a, a few items to choose from here. Uh, you might see more items depending on what packages you chose to include, uh, what options you selected during the installation process. But the main thing that you want to look for is the program called Spider. And then once you locate where that is, just simply click on the launch button. And that will also open something else up. And that's going to open up something that looks like this. And one thing that uh, you won't, inc it won't include here, what's, uh, it won't include what's highlighted here. But uh, um, it should open up a window that looks like this. So there should be, uh, there also may be a third pane uh, over here, a third uh, little uh, area over here. Uh, the main thing that you want to focus on is uh, this area over here and also this thing which is called a console. And we'll talk more about these features in some later videos. But for now, uh, this is sort of a video just to double check and just to sort of walk you through the Anaconda package as well as, well as this program called Spider, spelled S-P-Y-D-E-R, and how to get the best and uh, how to get the best use out of this of those two programs. So if you want to, you can go ahead and copy what you see here. Just make sure you write that exactly as it appears. And then if you want to, you can go, once you have that copied, if you want to verify that everything is working properly, then you can go hit the uh, green triangle here at the top. And when you do that on your, on your site, it might ask you if you want to save it first. So just make sure that if it asks you to save it, make sure you do actually go and save it. And then what you want to watch for is see if on the right hand side here, see if you get a little message that looks like this. The main thing that you want to look for is this. So if this appears in the console, then everything appears to be in working order. And one other note about uh, saving uh, saving files that we create in this class is when you go to save files, make sure that uh, make sure that you're not saving them in the default location. So when you first install Anaconda and begin using it, it's going to want to save all of your files to this folder called .spider-py3 which you can save your files there, but you're going to have some issues accessing them if you try to find your files, say, on your regular desktop. Or when you go to upload your Python files to Canvas, you're going to have a hard time finding your Python files because uh, any folder that has a period or dot at the beginning of it is flagged as a system folder, and you cannot access system folders. So make sure that when you go to save your files, you're saving it to some other folder that's not this, .spider.2. Uh, this dot spider two hyphen py three. Make sure you're not saving it in that folder. Otherwise, you're going to have problems when you try to go turn your work in when you go when you'll be required to upload your Python files to Canvas. So, uh, when you go to save it, when you go to save stuff, uh, go to save your Python programs. Save them to either a place like your desktop or documents, just uh, wherever you normally save 
your coursework would be a good place to put it. Just make sure it's not in here. You don't want to be saving up this. You don't want to be saving stuff there. So that's going to do it for this first video. Again, just sort of a first look at Anaconda and how to navigate the important stuff that we're going to be using during the course of this class. I'm using a slightly older version of both Anaconda and Spider, so some things might look a little bit different on your end, but most of the differences are not something that we need to overly concern ourselves with. There are a few subtle differences, like uh, this little red square, which will come into play a little bit later on in the class, is in a slightly different location, but... Uh, those differences will be highlighted once we come to them. So right now, uh, not a whole lot to worry about. Just make sure that this video is just to make sure that everything was installed correctly and that everything appears to be in working order. So if that is the case, then awesome. If not, then please email me and we'll do our best to fix any problems that might be present. But that's going to do it for this first video. And in the next video, we are going to start talking about some actual programming stuff. So with that, I will see you all in the next video.